we're showing here is a project uh, that I'm still currently working on, that I've been working on for the last five years, which is a mix of two things. One element of it is you could say it's about a journey that I've made um, from point A to point B, and the other part is about the process of going through material, of sorting out, of editing, of, um, of finding essence of expressions through material and the different ways of, of doing that. Wir haben es hier mit dem Medium Fotografie zu tun, aber die Art und Weise, wie das Medium verwendet wird oder das Endergebnis hat nichts mehr mit unserem klassischen Verständnis von Fotografie oder gar von Dokumentieren zu tun. When you stand one-to-one -to, -one to an image, you have a certain way of accepting it. Then once you're leaning over an image, you start viewing things in a very different way, which can come from the way that we were taught to view either things that are on a wall that are taken as the facts, or once they're lying down, they're taken more as evidence. Adam Jeppesen is jetzt inzwischen die vierte Position, die wir im Rahmen von Thinking about Photography zeigen, wo es uns ja vor allem um ein Nachdenken über das Medium Fotografie geht. Er hat ja diese ganzen Fotografien, die wir hier zeigen, auf einer fast 500 Tage langen Reise vom Nordpol runter zum Südpol in die Antarktis gemacht. Ähm, da geht es gar nicht mehr so sehr um die Motive, sondern es geht vor allem darum zu schauen, wie kann man das Erlebte adäquat übersetzen. It's a combination of corruption, poverty, polit political tension, but also, you know, this, this huge illegal economy. And it's not just drugs, it's, it's trafficking, of, trafficking of electronic goods, human trafficking, all sorts of way where you can make money, they will do it. And it thrives on chaos, anarchy. Um, and that's probably the basic theme behind Poppy. Yeah, so for us it was not so much a story about uh, following a packet of heroin across the world, but far more the story behind it. It was a vehicle for us to uh, go into the theme of uh, globalization and to look at the darker sides of this phenomenon. Cause when I'm doing these works, it was for me it's interesting to, to hack this advertising, like pr uh, private ad advertising space, and to show something like not commercial, but in commercial like space. At the same time, this practice was made like illegally. So for me, it was also interesting how long this works can be in the street, how it works, like how it works with society, how society reacts on these images. something in there where you feel okay I have an immediate understanding to his work but then you're also a little bit puzzled and you wonder so what is he even doing there or where is this image coming from and once you start to be puzzled you really start to think about it and then a whole you know new arena of questions open up that relate to photography to social interaction and intervention um, to public spaces and I think then it's still not difficult to grasp but there's an kind of enigmatic quality to it that actually makes it extremely interesting to, to look at his works and um, especially also his approach and the way he deals with photography. Mm -hmm. 